Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to continue watching Supernatural. We are in season 4 and episode 20. I cannot believe that and I'm so freaking excited. If you're new here, hello, welcome in. My name is Cora. It is so lovely to have you here. I'm also a Twitch streamer and I create gaming content here on YouTube. If you want to check the gaming content out, you can click the link up here. And if you want to come and hang out live or check out any of my other social media, the link to that is down below in the description box. And if you're not new, welcome, welcome. Come back. So, the last episode, huh? Apparently, their dad had some secret that we um, didn't quite know about. It's um, it's not surprising that their dad had secrets that he didn't tell them, and even this secret, I'm not surprised that he didn't say i feel like there could be so many reasons for him not to do so but a lot of it i think is related to them as a family i don't think that they communicated a lot about that kind of stuff i don't think they talked a lot about emotions and i think it's also a topic that can be kind of sensitive with that said their dad not telling them it led to its own set of stuff so it turns out sam and dean get a call they get a call to their dad's cell phone and the guy on the phone is like i need to talk i need to talk to john and they're they're like he's not he's he's not with us anymore and it turns out it's john's son and i feel like any of us if we got a call and someone says that there are parents kid and we didn't know about it i feel like most people will get pretty shocked it's um it's a lot it's even more shocking now considering they they are hunters they live in this world of demons and all this stuff and i feel like you don't know what information you can trust extra much here they do meet him and they prep or well dean prep <laughs> to check if it's a demon you know it got the holy water got the silver to see if it's cha like a shapeshifter and sam looks into the story and actually it, it checks out this could be john's kid it could be their sibling because their dad was in the area at the time you know nine months before this kid was born and the notes from that time only says that and then the rest is ripped out so you really you can really see that he's trying to hide something at the very least this kid's mum has been missing and whilst they're trying to get to know him and they're like breaking the news that like we are his sons and this kid's like I've got siblings, we have all of these mixed emotions, I have these mixed emotions and I feel like both Sam and Dean have, they have different emotions. I feel like Sam is more open to it and I think that is a lot related to Dean and Sam's relationship where I feel like Sam maybe don't feel seen by Dean, he doesn't feel like Dean trusts him and I think he looks up a lot to Dean and I think maybe he wants someone who looks up to him too. So Sam is a little bit more open arms with like, it's our brother, we gotta take care of him, we gotta help him find his mum, we gotta teach him about hunting, we gotta teach him about our family, all of that stuff. Whereas Dean in the beginning is very anti this, he is very much assuming that someone wants to get to them and this can't be true, this can't be their brother, like this is definitely something else. And he's he's not wrong but he's also not fully correct you do see him open up a little bit more and they have this discussion of like how much should he know how much should he not know what did dad want why did dad not tell us about him having another kid maybe he wanted to protect him like we're screwed but maybe he's not screwed he, like should he really get into this life isn't he shouldn't we give him a shot of like a normal life with like going to going to school and you know getting a job and a family and whatever you want to do with your life and they go back and forth with this and i they're both like kind of toying at like why the other person thinks the way they do i think sam asks if dean's jealous and i think he's jealous of some things i think he's jealous that their dad showed up for this kid's birthday and took him to 
like sports games and, and stuff like that but I do think maybe Sam is a little bit more jealous because he was very close to having a normal life. Well, as normal as can be. And he kind of had to give that up and he got a taste of it. I think maybe Dean could be a little bit jealous too, but I think he's... Maybe? I might be wrong, but I feel like maybe he's at least gotten further into accepting that even if he wanted that, that is just not possible. Whereas I think Sam might still find some of it a little bit harder. I don't know. I feel like you can twist and turn and I, I, I'm- it might not be correct what I'm saying so like don't come for my throat. I feel like sometimes I say the tiniest things and people just come and they're like no in this episode they said this specific thing and I'm like I watched everything once slash twice if you count the editing. I might not remember everything <laughs> but the, the important bit here is that they had very conflicted emotions I think that they were both happy to find out that they had a sibling and they both wanted to help but how to do that they definitely had different views of of how to help this kid and how to connect and like what what this brother should know and not know. So they decide to help him anyway to try to find his mom and they figure out that she is very much not alive. Um had to break that to him and that whatever took his mom is after him as well to get revenge on John. They get that much information. Fast forwarding a little bit, um, there is this moment when they're in the kitchen of the of the kids home and um, I'm like getting a really bad feeling and that's where it all turns. It all turns bad because obviously it can't be as simple as them just having a sibling and now they're three Winchester boys and no and it was so funny because like this whole episode I kept going in between like oh he deserves to know the truth oh he probably is his, their brother oh, no but what if he's not what if he is trying to trick them and like I kept having these extremely conflicted emotions on whether I believed this or not not. and like me wanting them to connect with him and tell him the truth but also protect him and not tell him the truth but also not say too much because he might not even be their brother. I felt so conflicted and confused. It turns out it makes sense because this person exists, this kid is their brother, it is John's son. Just that um, unfortunately they found out a little bit too late. So the horrible thing is that they never got to know their brother, but they did have one. They were up against ghouls who eat dead people and takes the form of the last person they ate. And these two sibling ghouls, ghouls, not ghouls, ghouls, why is that so hard to say? Ghouls. That sounds weird, the more I say it, the weirder it sounds. These two sibling ghouls flip ghouls <laughs> these two sibling ghouls they um ate their brother and their brother's mom and now since they can't get the revenge on john they're gonna take sam and dean instead is that plan obviously the two boys get out of this and all's good but they do the ghouls actually tell them that uh, this is your brother like because when a ghoul eats someone they do also get all of their memories and stuff so that's also why everything like, everything felt very real because they can like kind of embody the person that they ate and it just it was horrible they manage to get the ghouls and then they actually in the end take their brother and they give him a hunter's funeral which i felt a lot of ways about i think it was very beautiful i think it was a moment for them to honor their brother and um at least give him a piece of their family history in a sense because he did kind of go down as a hunter is is what dean said i think and it was, yeah, it was a lot. I feel like it portrayed clear, clearer signs of the strains on their relationships and it also made it very clear what both boys actually do want. It was a very interesting episode and as I said I felt so conflicted the whole time. I loved how they made you feel that way and I love how the episode made you feel mixed emotions and then gave you that like you're both right and wrong kind of thing. Unexpected episode, it was a good one and I do wonder where the boys are gonna take it from here because like 
even though I suppose it's a little bit of an in-betweener, it's all like it's gotta have a big effect on their life. Not only that their dad didn't tell them the truth, but like that they had a whole freaking family member that they did not know about. So I'm a little nervous. I also know that we're like edging closer towards the end of season four, which is making me a little bit extra nervous. So without further ado, and without me blabbering on for 58 ages, yes, I don't know. Let's get into the episode. <laughs> Is he actually fishing right now? We need to talk. Oh my god, he's dreaming and he's dreaming that he's fishing and yeah. <laughs> safe here. Oh, private, we're inside my head. <laughs> exactly. Someone could be listening. It's kind of wild. Yeah, I am nervous. Go now. The fact that Dean's head is not private enough is kind of terrifying. And the fact that he is telling him to meet some him somewhere because this like it's I don't know, I'm worried. Very worried. I knew would I be here. I do like that he brought Sam though. I do prefer when they both go together. And I feel like Cass is pretty okay. Like he's pretty cool with Sam. Even if he might not agree with everything he does. Okay. Flip, what happened here? Oh, don't tell me angels were fighting. That doesn't feel good. That makes me extra scared. Or maybe a demon and an angel? Ah. Uh... Oh god, what does that mean? Yeah, it does. Any use something like that to wish the angels back to the cornfield. Oh. That was what she drew on the mirror? Drew angels. on the mirror? I don't know. He could be fighting angels. That's what I'm kinda getting at here considering how <gasps> what the you're kidding me hey Cass what's 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 going on Castiel not Castiel it's me huh it's you who Jimmy my name's Jimmy the dude it's the actual dude of the body where the hell is Castiel I oh uh he's gone no what do you mean he's gone? And how is he- He is so aware that he had a full freaking angel inside of him. I guess if you have it for a long time, it's like the demons. Like if you have a demon in you, it feels like- You, you know? This is so strange. The rapture? Okay, that does not sound good. I don't know, months. Wait, so Cass didn't eat when he had your body? At all? Like, how are you alive? <laughs> Even Dean is like, uh... And he's the one usually eating, so it feels, it doesn't feel like Cass. It's so funny. Like, it isn't, but like, it really doesn't yeah. feel like him. I remember him. was a flash of light and I, uh, I woke up and I was just, you know, like me again. So what, Cass just ditched out of your meat suit? A meat suit. You remember anything about being possessed? Anything at all? Yeah, bits and pieces. Mm. Angel inside you, it's kind of like being chained to a comet. Oh, that didn't sound like much fun. Understatement. Cass <laughs> said he wanted to tell her. Oh, Flippy doesn't, does All he? Right. God dang it. Come on, what do you know? It's gotta be something, right? You can really see that Cass is not inside. My name is Jimmy Novak. I'm from nice Pontiac, Illinois. to meet you. I have a family. He has a flip of. Where do they think he's been? To the honor and glory of thy name. Amen. Amen. He's really a good actor because you can feel the difference between Cass and Jimmy. That's pretty wild. Not wild, but like, it's cool. I don't know. He's doing a good job. Oh, is this the moment? It's so weird seeing him like the person he actually is. <laughs> Ooh, I don't. Mm, I don't like this. What did the family think happened? Guy's got a family. We buy him a bus ticket. Send him home. I mean, he's the only leader we got. He doesn't know anything. Are you 100% about that? If he's really a godly man, he would be able to call Maybe you, he right? He doesn't even know what he knows. I say at least we get him to Bobby's. Maybe all he needs is, is his, his hypnosis or a, a psychic. I don't... Yeah, mm. Back there, that was angel on angel violence. Kind of looked like it, though. 
Remember when our job was helping people? Like getting them back to their family? You think I don't want to help him? If we want to question the guy, you can damn well bet the demons do too. That's a good point. That's a good point. Can't go home. There's a good chance you have a bullseye on your back. What? From who? Um... Demons. demons. <laughs> what do they want with Jinx. Me? I don't know. Information, maybe? I don't know anything. I know. They don't care. They gonna think you know. I just want to go home. We understand. I've been shot and stabbed and healed and my body's been dragged all over the earth. By some miracle, I'm out and I am done. I've given enough, okay? How long? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Just see my wife and daughter, okay? No, you're not. Of course he wants to meet them. In danger. So what, now I'm a prisoner? Harsh way to put it. <laughs> that must be so hard when you're like waking up from all of that and then you can't go home and see your family. But I, I do understand like him potentially being in danger and therefore, but I, I don't know if they're gonna make him say anything. Is Sam able to do that? Oh, I didn't, oh. What if there's things about his abilities that we don't know about at this point? And the dude is awake, which is not good. Was he sleeping in his freaking suit? <laughs> Wouldn't they notice that? Oh god. Let the chaos begin, huh? Oh, is that blood? Oh, the way he's almost shake- Flip. Sam is actually shaking now. It, it kind of feels like he's addicted to it. Oh, I don't like seeing this. I don't like seeing this. No. Oh, what if he's not going to be able to live without the blood now? That's not good. Hurry up. <laughs> Sorry, uh, this is funny to you. Mr. Big Bad Prison Guard Jimmy McMook gives you the slip. <laughs> I was getting a Coke. <laughs> was it a refreshing Coke? <laughs> Can we just go, please? Why is Dean having so much fun with this? And what is it that Sam wants with this too? Because it's not just like, I know it's not like, I, or I don't know, but I have a strong feeling that for Sam's part, this is not just about him wanting to protect this dude from demons it, there's, there's something more also isn't like his family gonna have the biggest shock of their lives if he just shows up did he just put his hat okay i think it's time to be worried now what the hell are you doing it's okay i'm okay nothing's wrong he asked me to do it i would be so worried if i heard that castiel to prove my faith. Look, I'm fine. It's a miracle. Who's Castiel? So he told his family about Castiel? I wonder if they believe that. Hey guys. Oh! Oh! Talk about jump scare, huh? I, call it ahead? I like the element of surprise. <laughs> In the middle of traffic? Um. <laughs> yeah, not the most appropriate time, Dean. <laughs> Dean's like, mm, you're looking fine. Not the ginormal. Sam? She's like, hmm. You seem different. It's because he is different. You're absolutely right, Anna. A haircut? That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. Come on, she's gonna see through your. He remember anything? Why? What's going on? It's Cass. He got sent back home, more like dragged back. It's not a good thing? No. That's a very bad thing. Which is pretty wild. Awfully bad. It doesn't make sense. A heaven should be painful. Seriously, piss someone off. Cassidy oh. had something to tell me, something important. What? I don't know. Does Jimmy know? I don't think so. It's huge. You gotta find out for sure. Well, that's why we're going after Jimmy. That's why you shouldn't have let him go in the first place. <laughs> Probably dead already. No, don't say that. Although she does have a slight point that there is the uh, potential. Now he looked way more like Cass with the jacket and also the hair, I think. I do love Anna being back. Anna's a pretty cool character. She looks so much older. How long has he been in like having Cass inside of him? I mean, like not older as in old, but like she's definitely grown since. 
Or am I making this up? Maybe I'm making it up. Jimmy, take the pills. I know that this is hard oh. to understand, but he chose me. Oh, he's poor. Couldn't Castiel convince his wife, at least? What kind of question is that? And angels? Yes. Why is it then so hard for you to believe that they're talking to me? Jimmy, you sell ad time for AM radio. No, nope, he said that I'm special. He said that God has chosen me for a higher purpose. To do what? It's God's will. Not really my place to question. Oh, it must be so hard for her. I would... I totally understand why she is reacting this way, though. This is a blessing. This is the most important thing to ever happen to me. I thought we were the most important things to ever happen to you. Hey, have faith. Jimmy, you're scaring me. God will provide. And if you won't get help, then I'm going to take Claire to my mother's in the morning. Oh, I just... I feel like if angels are going to, like, take someone's body, couldn't you at least, like, explain that to your wife? Or their wife, I mean? Like... <laughs> I'm about to lose my my family here if you don't tell me how. Please, Castiel, talk to me. Oh, and of course he didn't help. Yes, I understand. I promise my family will be okay and I'll do it. Then, yes. Okay and like... Like, that, that's very hard to define. Like, physically they're probably okay and I'm sure they're doing okay with their lives, but... This whole thing might still be a trauma to them that I feel like might still be a problem and even though that might have been what he intended when he asked, I am a little concerned. And him showing up again is just, wow. Oh, oh, oh please tell me that he's gonna explain. No, he's not, is he? Oh, no. I am not your father. The way his voice even sounds different, that's terrifying. Oh, the poor girl. Having that as your, like, your dad just leaving you saying, I'm not your father, must be so traumatic. I don't even want to think about it. Oh, oh I don't know. I don't want to see this. Oh, I feel... Yeah. We, uh, we stopped looking for you. We thought you were dead. I'm okay. Of course they Claire, thought that. Room now. Yeah. Can I see her? Um, yeah. yeah. I can understand the way she feels. Although I understand that she wants to see him probably and he wants to see him. I think your daughter would have wanted to know you were okay. He didn't have that power anymore that, that time. I was in a psych clinic. I just wanted to get myself straight before seeing you. Huh? No telephones. No, I know. You're right. I'm... But that's not... I'm so sorry. That's not actually true. Is it because he doesn't think that he's... She's gonna believe him? I mean, like, I'm, that I'm really okay. makes more sense. Oh, the worst is if... What if Castiel comes back and wants the body again? I... Can't see the family broken up again. God was calling me to something and I thought that it was important. I was wrong. I was such an idiot. Heaven, hell, none of that matters. The only thing that's important to me is you and Claire. Oh god, I can't watch this. I. Mm. Oh, fudge you now. And I, uh, I can't undo what I've done. But I just want to come home again. I don't know if I can do that. Not yet. I mean, whatever you're comfortable. Maybe we could start with something smaller. I don't know, dinner? Where the hell are you? Oh, my stomach is hurting. I'm watching this is so hot. I'm all out. Oh, way. oh, Stop flick Sam. Call me. Oh, he's... Yeah, he is definitely addicted. He is definitely addicted to her, to his blood. Hi, baby. Wait, they actually got to say hi? I'm sorry, I touched the screen at that moment. It'll be okay, it's always fine. Oh, it's fine. It's more than fine. Oh, she got to see her dad again. She must be so happy. I can't. It's fine. Daddy, aren't you gonna say great? 
I don't no, think honey, you... I don't think I am. Why are you crying? Because I'm happy. I understand why he doesn't want to do that anymore. Like, why he doesn't want to say grace, because I think anything connected to, to God is just a little bit too much for him. Am I crazy or did oh. I just see your husband wandering here? Roger, now's not a good time. Oh. There he is. Son of a bitch. Oh. Oh, don't tell me that was like their neighbor or his best friend or something and now they're... Can I talk to you? Can I get you a beer? That'd be good. Thanks. Oh, I'm worried. Oh, I'm worried. You scared the hell out of a lot of people. I know, I know. Honestly, worst year of my life and you wouldn't believe a word of it, but it's all okay now. Actually, no, it's not. Yeah. Here it you, comes, doesn't well, I mean, it? I'm gonna gut your daughter while you watch. Oh! Okay. Oh! What are you doing? Oh! 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 This is not where I thought this was going. I swear. Who was your best friend? Roger was a demon, damn it. Don't cross this line. You thought you were better, but you were so sick. I'm not crazy. Oh. Stay down. This is all. My. No! Run! No, now his daughter's out. No, this is so stressful. Hey, pal. Yeah. I told you I'd get the bitch. Roger, daddy. Just let her go. For me, I would, but the missus, she has other ideas. Oh. The only good thing here is that she might believe him. Nice save, holy flip. Oh, okay. It, I love that Dean is just like giving Sam the eye, like, do something else. Oh, he's not strong enough anymore. Can you, Sam? No, but I can. Oh, I'm so worried for Sam. Let's go. This was so stressful. This is not where I thought that that was going. I was like, oh, don't like, don't like tell me that's what's gonna happen. I should have figured it was right. gonna be demons, but for some reason I did not. <laughs> Sorry we were, but I'm telling you, I don't know anything. I don't think they're inclined to believe you. And even if they did, you're a vessel. They're still gonna want to know what makes you tick. Which means vivisection, if they're feeling generous. You're putting your family in danger. I wonder if he could tell them the truth now and they would believe him. And don't give me that cross that bridge when we get to it, crap. Demons will never stop. You can never be with your family. So you either get as far away from them as possible or you put a bullet in your head. And that's how you keep your family oh safe. Oh my, Sam. No, Even no though this, Sam. yeah. the truth, Dean. I know you could Someone tell him the to. truth, but that's maybe a little brutal way of telling it. I think he's having withdrawal. I think Sam's having withdrawal from not having Ruby's blood. That's horrifying. I'd, ugh. I'd pretty much owe you the biggest apology ever. That's, oh, you know. yeah, it's understandable the way she reacted though, and I think he so agrees, sorry. I think he understands, even though and he I wanted her to believe him. Ever forgive myself for letting you walk out that door. You did what any rational person would have done. Yeah. I mean, how I thought I was crazy half the time. <laughs> Demons. Yeah. Oh, this is so hard to see. I just Demon hate this. Home? What are we gonna do? How does he you tell him? gonna get you a car. <laughs> Don't ask me how. No, I'm, I'm not going anywhere without you, Jimmy. Listen to me. Every moment that I'm with you, you and Claire are in danger. I don't care. We are not splitting up again. We don't have a choice. They finally got on the same page and they're finally back together and then... Oh, cross that bridge. No, no, don't say... Don't give them hope, though. I mean, I do, I do hope that they... I just... I... It's hard telling them that, though. I guess he is low-key hoping for it, too. Tell you, Amelia. And they'll kill Claire. Did he just step in on their private moment? <laughs> the music with that, that was so, so funny. Okay, so, uh, yep. Here's your, your hot wired car. Isn't someone gonna like look for their stolen car though? Oh, that's like the hardest part. Like, she thought her dad was missing and told her that he's not her dad. And then now that they're actually back together, he has to leave them. 
it would have been so much easier if the person that Cass chose for like a vessel was just why is he leaving again I don't know someone without a family I guess I know that the demon escaped before they got the demon, but that's just oh that scared the living heck out of me. Fudge you know. Please tell me they can save her. Or both of them. Now you can't even kill a stunt demon number three. He just called him slut demon number three. I'm trying to pick a fight here, okay? I just you, you're scaring me, man. Yeah. I think it's pretty obvious at this point. Oh, that's pretty that he's admitting that is pretty interesting at least. I think that's a good step. It's your wife. How are they gonna fix this? I am s oh, this episode. Flippin' heck. You gotta do is stay calm and stall. Let us do our job. You want me to stay calm? This is my family we're talking about. Listen to me, this will work. You understand? Nobody's gonna get hurt. Mm -hmm. How are they gonna save his wife, too? There's no way they're expecting him to come alone, Dean. Yeah. You know, this is probably a trap. Yeah, I know. That's why I have a plan. It's definitely a trap. Castiel, you son of a bitch! You promised me my family would be okay! I gave you everything you asked me to give! I gave you more! The problem is that Cass can't help you because he's stuck there. Help me! I think he promised because he actually believed that that would be true. He didn't see this coming. And that's also because he's not just any angel anymore. Oh, look at how she looks so freaking cocky right now. You're home. Are you... Do whatever you want with me. But my wife and daughter, they're just, they're not a part of this. Oh, they're a big part of this, Jimmy. Oh, this is not good. Wife? Unless this is the plan, which would be great. You know what's funny? You wearing a soccer mom? Because I was actually bummed to get this detail. Now look who landed in my lap. Oh. <sighs> Let these people go. Oh, Sam looks so bad. It's easy to act shivers when your Wonder Girl powers aren't working, huh? Everybody dies. Oh no! No, 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 no. We need a miracle stat. Miracle stat. Oh no, 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 no. Don't get the daughter. No, don't. Mm. Oh, and they're gonna let him be alive to watch this. Is that the plan? Because you're demons. Uh, it's the kid. Come on. Cass? Who is it? <laughs> that was real sneaky. I wonder if the door's just gonna remember that. I kind of hope she doesn't. I feel like a normal life would be better. Or is that a plot of the plan? Or... Oh my... <gasps> Sam! Stop it! Stop it! I'm panicking! <sighs> okay, at least... Now they know. Now... Now they know. Um, I am not okay right now. I will say that much. Please tell me that the daughter doesn't remember anything. Okay, kind of good timing. I will give him that, but... Hopefully the mom will be okay, therefore. Oh, my lord. And at least now Dean knows. I think he can put two and two together. Of course you have our gratitude served as well. Your work is done. Time to go home now. Your real home. To heaven? Claire. She's with me now. She's chosen. It's in her blood, as it was in yours. She's chosen? No, don't. Hasn't this family given Please. enough? Please. So it... Is it Castiel then? Don't die. Or age. This last year is painful for you. Sure, hundred, a thousand more, like it. But he doesn't want his wife to do it. It doesn't matter. You can't mean. 
it's so wild to see because he's talking to his daughter's like face. He literally sacrificed himself for his family though. And the at least they know that that's what he did for God and the earth and them mainly for them. And that probably shows how much they mean to him. Oh, I mean, I love Cass having this body and everything, but that's just... That means that he's gonna be gone forever for them, right? Cass, hold up. Even if he's not dead, technically, he's also kind of dead, I guess. What were you gonna tell me? I learned my lesson while I was away, Dean. I serve heaven. I don't serve man. Oh, I no. don't serve you. What did they do to him? What did they... No, that's why he didn't feel like Kaz. What the fudge did they do to him? I really don't like this. Something really bad is happening. Are you gonna talk about this now? You saw what I did. Come on, stop the car. Take a swing. No mad, sir. Come on. You're not mad. I don't think mad is the right emotion. Look, at least let me explain myself. Don't. I don't care. Oh no, that's even worse. That's way worse than him being angry. What do you want me to say that I'm disappointed? Yeah, I am. But mostly I'm just tired, man. What do you mean you were done? What do you mean you were done? Hey, Bobby. Hey, you and your brother better shag ass to my place ASAP. What's going oh? on? The apocalypse, genius. I mean, we know, what but... Say? What? Thanks for shaking the tail. Yeah, you got it. Uh-huh. I want to show you something. All right. I'm a so, little stressed. Uh, what's the big demon problem? Sam. You Sam. Are. This is for your own good. Oh, I should have seen that coming. Oh, they're really hey. gonna... Are they gonna, like, detox him through this? I, I understand this, but I also hate this. Oh, man. You're kidding me. Ooh, not soon, not soon. Don't give me any spoilers. Oh, I almost spoiled myself there. Get a... I don't think I should watch that. I do not know what to feel right now because not only did I just watch a really horrible and sad and tragic family story play out just in front of my eyes, but also Dean got to know the truth about Sam and they've now locked Sam up and... Cass is not acting as the Cass we know anymore, which makes me worried. I'm a little bit at a loss for words. This was a very good episode. I freaking enjoyed it. I love the twists and turns, but most episodes do. And then I'm like, oh, I feel like this is gonna be the twist. And then the twist is something else and it like surprises me, but also at the same time, like, of course this makes so much sense that this is the twist. Man, I don't even know where to start. It was interesting to finally see how Cass chose the body, or like rather who that person actually was. I guess you can actually say was, because he is probably no longer technically speaking. I mean, he is inside. I think he is still technically alive. So it will be like the year where Cass embodied him. So he will know bits and pieces, but he's not ever gonna be able to escape that. And he's like not fully there, I suppose. It's all, oh, I, it was interesting to see who the person was what life did he have before and I also found found it so cool to see how it all went down like how when he was transitioning and like proving I guess to cast that he was worthy and he was a, enough of a believer to give his body to an angel uh, how that went down and how that affected him and his family and everything but it was so hard, like watching him finally be able to reconnect with them, trying to make up a story that makes more sense, only to have it all ripped apart and them seeing the truth, which I do think at least is a good thing because then I think that they, ha they can in their hearts cherish him and forgive him and at least they know, I think, I'm assuming, that they at least know why he did what he did, why he is the way, like everything that happened, I feel like at least they can move on with their life with great, like being grateful, knowing that he really loved them, he did put them above everything else, and 
that I don't know like, I think knowing that might make it easier to move on with their lives and live good lives but the trauma of everything that happened not knowing from the beginning and going back and forth of like so many things I really hope the daughter doesn't remember too much I want her to remember enough to know that her dad was saving them and really brave but not as much as she's traumatized for the rest of her life which I'm a little worried about it was very brave of him um, and I think I think for maybe for him too it was nice that he was able to show his family that he did love them and they were the most important thing and that's why he did what he did in the end and they know that he's not crazy, he's not insane. He really was chosen for a higher purpose, whether that's right or wrong, in our eyes or in their eyes. That was God's will, I suppose. I'm glad to have Cass back, and I mean, I love him having that body, but I'm also a little conflicted about it, knowing the whole story behind it. And the way Cass reacted at the end is it's got me really worried. It's got me really worried. I don't know what they did to him in heaven. And I don't know how... I, I'm nervous of what they did to him and who as well. And also what triggered that. I wonder if that was potentially them... Like when he helped Dean with the prophet. If that might have been like the biggest trick. I'm sure there were small things. But like the biggest like turning point of them sending him back in heaven. I wonder if we're gonna get to know what happened to him up there and why more in close, more closely. And if there's more to it, if he's doing this to push them away to save them or himself, or if it's something, I don't know. And I'm also very worried about Sam. You could see he was going through it in this episode. You really got to see not only because I thought like, oh, he can drink demon blood and get stronger, but it's so more, much more than that. That the more he drinks, the more he wants. It's like a drug. He's like addicted to it, and you could see him going through like withdrawal from not having blood, which is terrifying. It was a smooth plan. I did find it a little suspicious that Bobby called and just said, get over here, the apocalypse is happening. But um, it is. So it wasn't untrue, but I feel like he usually has more information than that. I'm glad they did that. I'm worried. I don't, I mean, I don't like that they locked him in, but they, they all gotta figure out what the flip is happening to Sam and what to do about it. And I do feel like the safest place that he could be currently is probably at Bobby's place. So I guess that's what the next episode is gonna be about and I am a little nervous to see... see that one. I really can't wait. This show just keeps surprising me in such strange ways, but I love it. I love it so much. I can't... Oh, it's so hard watching in one episode a week, but also it's nice that I'm taking it slow and I can enjoy the ride for a very long time. <laughs> And I may or may not have been starting to look at, like, Supernatural merch or, like, stuff because, um, now it's my personality. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it would mean a lot if you give the video a thumbs up. Of course, comment down below your thoughts, your feelings, emotion, watching it the first time, the 58th time, the 100 times, or when you watched it with me. I would love to know. Maybe you have a fun fact. Maybe you want to say hello. Anything. It's always fun reading your comments, so thank you for leaving them. And subscribe for upcoming videos. I really appreciate you all, and I hope that you will have an amazing rest of your day, night, morning, midnight, night, breakfast, whichever time it is for you when you're watching this. And I'll see you very soon. Bye!